WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time, two hours left to go in the trading day on Wednesday. And taking a look at markets, it's red across the board. Dow Jones negative 215 points, trading 24,704. S&P is currently negative by 21, trading 2776, and the Nasdaq negative by 41 points, trading 7717. You got the gold contract down $12 as we speak, trading 1243, and oil down $3.18, trading $70.94. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of those charts. We'll start it off with the S&P 500. So currently near session lows that we made about two hours ago and also at around one as well. Currently trading 27.77. NASDAQ 100, a little bit of a different story, kind of in the middle of the trading range we've had today. NASDAQ 100 trading 72.63, the top of that range being about 72.89. Dow 30. Currently trading 24,701, basically lows for the trading session. We spiked to that level just prior to 9 a.m. and we're back down to that level after trading at about 100 points higher as of 11 a.m. Crude oil, how about that chart? To the downside we go. We had EIA inventories coming in. We were doing this live on the show this morning if you were watching, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. We got a draw of 12.6 million barrels. And what these are, let's see, these are five minute bars we're looking at. So the price of oil proceeded to spike to just over $74. And from there, remarkably, we are down $3.15 just in the last three and a half hours. Pretty remarkable that we had that type of a draw. And even with it, you have the price of oil declining that much. $70.89 as we speak. Gold contract also pulling back. 12.43 on gold. We're up there at about 12.52 earlier in the session. And Bitcoin with relative low volatility right in the middle of where it's been bouncing around. Bitcoin currently trading 63.75. Stay tuned. We have our man David Waite coming up right now with the Power Trading Hour. And of course, Tom O'Brien wraps up the trading day live from 3 till 5. Should be an exciting couple hours as we wrap up the trading day and see where these markets go. See especially where crude, struggling, Gold struggling across the board. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Dave White coming up right now, folks.